What's going on my friends? I hope you're very well. Today we have this very short video and as you can see from the title where uh, you know we have the description of this video well this is a little transplant that I'm gonna do today of this little cerisa cutting that has you know definitely rooted. This is a pot where I had an apple tree growing a couple of months ago but it died uh, because of the high temperatures that we experienced during the summer and also because of excessive watering. This is near uh, one of those drains that air conditioners have where all of the condensed water from the uh, cold air you know just drops to the ground and uh, those are usually connected to a drain or something like that but in my case it was near this pod and so there was this was super wet and uh, the apple tree didn't make it but anyway we can see that it's now been transformed into a cutting <laughs> a cutting pot because uh, uh, we can see this is a zerisa cutting and we also have this fill leaf ficus here that I rooted and uh, that is growing I might take this you know indoors uh, you know how fiddle leaf ficus are used for decoration and they can live inside if you take care of them well uh, I might take this one inside so it can you know just be there in my living room or whatever and uh, another little flower plant flowering plant that we have there but anyway this is the main focus of today's video this is a cutting that I took from a tree that my girlfriend has she uh, bought this cerisa plant and I didn't care too much for it because it's one of those bonsai, you know, quote unquote bonsai trees that it's made um, by uh, joining a huge amount of little saplings together and they fuse. This one didn't fuse, it was just, you know, wrapped around each other. It was like a braid design and uh, now it looks, now it's, it looks better, you know, because she's been taking very good care of it. And anyway, in one of those sessions where we cut and we pruned that tree, I took a couple of cuttings and this one definitely took, yeah. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this little terrarium shovel, which by the way, if you haven't followed my terrarium channel, it might be a good idea. I'm going to leave, leave the link in the description box. Uh, I'm going to take this little terrarium shovel and uh, take this baby out of the ground, yeah and uh, transplant it to this little tiny pot. Yeah. You can see that the soil is nice and loose. It's got a lot of organic matter in the shape of conquer choir. So it's gonna be a very good environment for it. I hope it, it does well in the future. I hope it grows. Um, and I'm doing this now because temperatures have been improving. And when I mean, when I say improving, I mean um, they've been you know, lower temperatures, they've been decreasing. Uh, so here I go. I'm just gonna, gonna go like this. I don't wanna take too much of the soil. It's in with it to the new pot. Just as you can see from the chunks that are emerging, it's, uh, heavy on clay. So let's see what we got. There's a root over here. I don't know if this is from the fiddle leaf or from, from the cerisa, but let's continue. So I'm gonna be careful with the roots. And I'm also going to prune a little bit of the foliage just so that the plant has enough roots to support that. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper just so that it has enough roots to support the, the foliage. Yeah. So we're getting there. Okay, here we are. 
You can see that the roots are nice and healthy there. And uh, you can see here where I took the cutting. Yeah, it's nice that it's grown horizontally, you know, laterally. The roots are emerging laterally, so uh, we can also see that it's got a nice little tree-like structure already. So we'll see what happens with it in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover it a little bit. I'll prepare the the hole. Let's see. Hmm. So you can see that it's also growing roots from this little corner here, where my ring finger is. But the majority of the roots are coming from this side over here. It's got a nice little angle like this. Or what about like this? Yeah, I think we're gonna play it safe and just use the angle with the majority of the seeds. There. And then we come in. Like so. And, uh, you know, it's, that's it. Let's put it here so we can see the little trunk. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. You know, and uh, now, like I said, the only thing left is to prune a little bit so that the plant is not stressed about supporting all of that extra foliage with the roots that we damaged during the process. So, we just cut a little and we make sure that what we cut is mature growth. So that I can continue to develop the little new shoots that it's growing. Yeah. So what I like to do is, for example, we have cuttings, you know, very of plants that root very easily. I just, you know, stick them in the ground right next to it. Who knows, right? We might get more plants out of this little procedure. So that's the first one, another one over here, and uh, we'll see what happens, right? So, nice little cerisa plant. Uh, in the future, I'm going to give it, you know, more definite style. And that means that I'm going to choose one of those little trunks that are growing there, and I'm going to root the others. Yeah. So in the meantime, I'm just going to let it recover, let it recover this remaining days of autumn. And then next spring, we will continue working on this little guy. Yeah. So I hope you're very well. Sorry I hadn't uploaded videos in a while. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to continue doing it now on a more regular basis. Yeah. So I hope you have a very good weekend. Hope you're very well. Uh, subscribe to my terrarium channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.